Today we're going to do a quick video on how to install the pull tool um, inline zinc anode, which is meant for a two inch by two inch uh, slit. And do note that uh, on the actual product itself, on the T, uh, it's actually threaded for the main anode. Anyway, um, all the O-rings, and I believe there were three of them, uh, blue tube, and also the uh, bleeder on top right there. You can also see that I use Bluetooth. Um, I had zero leaks um, whatsoever. I just installed this about an hour ago. I used um, the OD uh, medium blue PVC with purple primer, which is recommended if it's going under pressure. Uh, the Oatly uh, does say that it doesn't need primer, but uh, the manufacturer actually does recommend that uh, for any sort of pressure situation like in a pool. Uh, in addition, I used uh, the waterproof blue tube for everything. Also, all of these products are sold on Amazon and I do use uh, for cutting my PVC this uh, pipe cutter, which can handle up to two or one and a half inch pipe. I have one and a half on everything, however, what I do is, as you can see, I actually step everything up once it enters to two inch. So, uh, as you know, uh, this is basically the intake right there, which goes into the pump, then the pump into um, a sand filter, which I actually fill with glass media. This is the Hayward, I believe the uh, 244T. Um, and then, uh, and you can see it's running at a beautiful pressure of only 12 pounds. And uh, you got two skimmers. You also have uh, down there um, the main drain uh, from the pool. And then in addition, um, the directions do say it's always good to use a union before and after, as you see in your plumbing. I did all my own plumbing. And uh, basically it says do it after the filter. So after the pump, after the filter and then essentially what i did was i cut out the t first i detached just the plastic which is probably a schedule 40 and i essentially marked it above and below with a black pen marker permanent and then i went one inch below and above so you actually as i'll show you you want to cut out a piece which is actually about that big. You see that? Good. So you want to cut a piece out that's smaller because obviously you have the two inch pipe that has to insert into the T. And then um, I used the lube on everything, uh, screwed this part in, screwed the black part in first, and then bleed, there was some air originally. I bled all the air, which sprayed everywhere out of this top part, right here. And then here, you connect the anode and bond it to your bonding wires. So I'm gonna get um, a better one that will do all three. Uh, they make, um, I believe it's a four gauge bolt that's also sold in packs of 15 or 10 on, uh, I think it's only $17 on Amazon. And uh, that's what I highly recommend. So I'm gonna be switching that out and making that look a little prettier with two different bolts to uh, hold everything. But, but that's it. Um, and then uh, obviously this is recommended for any salt generator. Remember when you start this or do any sort of work, always kill your pull on the main off. This should be GFI uh, protected. And then uh, I use an Intermatic um, three-circuit timer, the salt generator, and also the, uh, the uh, pump are both on circuit number one. And the power, believe it or not, I'm running everything only on 115 volt. Um, the power and everything is coming in with the hot into number one, the neutral into number two, and everything is grounded over there. Remember, grounding is not bonding. So you could see bond wire here is connected also to um, the bottom of the salt generator, but the salt generator is actually bonded here 
and it's also grounded through the actual wire. And that's a Pentair salt generator, and that's uh, essentially the return. As you can see, I do have a Polaris that I'll be putting in the future, um, which I haven't had time to do yet, but I will. But uh, essentially, I, I already have the key here off the Jandy valve, which is also sold on Amazon. Um, so this uh, Jandy valve um, will be for the Polaris uh, cleaner, which I've already bought. I think I got the um, Polaris 3900. So that's everything. I hope this was helpful and uh, happy sacrificial anode. And by the way, it's supposed to last about five years. And they do make a kit which just replaces this part where um, just the anode part where it leaves the plastic casing and the T or you can buy the whole thing again. It's, um, I think it was about a $30 difference. So hope you enjoyed this video and uh, happy swimming. Bye.